hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this the flyer design before jumping into this let's check the intro Take up graphic skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So without wasting much of our time, guys, let's dive into today's tutorial. Hey, yeah, good day, guys. Welcome back to Deco Graphic Design Training. Hope you guys are doing absolutely great. Today, I want to show you how you can make a business flyer Salon business flyer on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. As usual, kindly stay tuned and watch the end because there is much to learn today. So, without wasting much of our time, let's dive into this. Have this three dots being click, then you select the kind of size you want to use. So, the size I want to use is 1280 by 1278. Then, after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to import all my design. So I want to select the background I want to use, which is white. So I'm going to my gallery and import other necessary things I want to use. So like for instance, I'm selecting this. Then use the relative position to position it well. So I'm shifting it a little bit to the left, have it locked. Now that I have this uh, being locked, then the next thing I'm going to do is to go with other right up. So I'm selecting this. Then I will reduce the size. After reducing the size, rotate by. Rotate to. Let's rotate to 45. Or something like 44. After selecting it, then you reduce the size a little bit, being positioned like this. Then I want to use a stroke to identify it. So I'm selecting this stroke, just four. Then I have it like this. I will copy. Then after copy, I want to position, I will position it here. Then this will come here. You can bring it down let this one come here then we copy again so the last one we are going to copy this now we are we will, we will rearrange it later now the next thing i'm going to do at this juncture is to go and you use the texture texture rate then we go to where we have all the file so like for instance i will select start from here so i will position it no i want to position this here so let it come like this so we need to oh uh, let me use uh, this no cropping so which means i need to rotate once so like this let's see it's still not work let's look at this let me rotate like this it's still not work so let's see like this so it's okay it's okay then we can scale it out a bit very good so we'll go to the second one we select the same thing where we have this then we scale it out we'll go to the third one where we'll go to our texture then uh, we have uh, we are going to have let's say we have this let have this being positioned there very good then we are going to scale it out to show very well but if it's not really fitting so at this level we can crop so when we crop it this automatically we get a good result so let have it this way then you can see very good so we'll go to the third one i mean the last one or we have this being imported so we can do the same thing here where we have this then you can see 
it actually everything is actually run so the next thing that we are going to do to make the work more easier is to go to select a shape like this then we are going to texture and uh, we position this there so we can still have this very good so we are going to find a way of positioning this here as you can see so after that we need to adjust all these then so we don't need to scale them you understand now that we have it that way so uh, the others can still go with that so now we have this being centered as you can see so the next thing that we are going to do after that is to now make our solid conclusion on the position here so i'm going to make a solid conclusion on this whether everything is uh, right so it's okay now how to shift it you can mark everything click on this uh, button and you tap on this so this one will allow you to shift to anywhere you want to move it to so i want to shift it exactly like this and as you can see everything is uh, actually plumbed the way we want it so the next thing is to tap on it and they have everything being locked so i'm locking the whole thing excluding this so i'm going to bring this and position it to the center we use the movement arrow to make sure that it really centralized so now that we have this being saved we lock it as well then we go back to our gallery after getting to gallery so we are going to import this so uh, i'm going to crop like this then after cropping so i'm going to position this here so let it come here exactly like this so how can i make it come i will send it to the back then go to uh, i'm going to opacity then reduce the opacity exactly like this so that it will be showing at the back of it so let's increase it will just be showing at the back of it exactly like this as you can see very cool so we can reduce the size a bit if we actually want it but it should be just be showing exactly like this so we have everything at the tips of our finger so now just under this uh, tap enable then we have it lock as well so the next thing that we want to do i'm going to shape and uh, trying to bring this sending it back which you can see let's see whether it will work but if it can work we can still say bring it to the front while we have it at this place so we will have it at this place let's see how it work but we send it to the back so when we send it to the back we have this then we'll go to the color we select this color very good so after selecting that color we'll be able to position it around here why because we have to use this place at later on so we click ok now that we have everything being set then we need to put our write up and order so we have uh, AJ, we have AJ, 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 then we have apostrophe S, AJ, then this will be small letter. So let's try Lixpata. I believe Lixpata should be able to work here. So let's see, it actually works, but not as what I want. So let's check uh, Roboto. Roboto should be able to work. I don't want to Roboto as well let's check uh, 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 real waveforms let's see real waveforms should be able to work real way real way it's not i don't want it multi-serra if we can't find this now yes this is the one i actually want so well, i will go for multi -serra. so let's see multi -serra black so this should go with it so we have we come here then this is where we need to apply a, a wisdom so we need to still merge everything like this it's because of shifting then we shift it down see the way i'm shifting it we shift it down to create a list of two space you can see create a small 
so now we have it like this so we just need to adjust this now so everything is actually plumb so now we can lock and uh, go with other right up so let increase the size let increase the size so the size already increased then we give a color that we want so i've assigned the color then we go to the shapes and we have a shaping curve in this particular area which you can see then so we have as i said we have a shape being curved exactly like this so move this up a little bit so after moving it up but don't let it be too long at this area so we have it being cropped like this which you can see but should not be more than this particular area so we have it shaped like this so that one will give us a venue to go into this copy then we have it edited or it's so we have it like this it's all about you you can see then we have this being reduced to a minimal level and have a position here which you can see so we have a position here very good so now that we have we can since we use the multi-sera font we can see multi-sera that will not be good like that so we have this is one we can use this so let's use this multi-sera then we have it being positioned like this so now that we have this we can uh, let's reduce the space in between very good very good so we have it here now we can change the color for this by going here and tap from this color so now we have this then we go with our right up and put the touch of beauty touch of beauty then we we'll position that with a white color remember we we'll, we'll white color and then we we'll increase the size we're going to increase the size to make it fit in after increasing the size you are lying properly very good just make sure that everything really align very good so now we have this being set and the next thing that we are going to do is to go with other service uh, 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 menu. So we have the services. So at this juncture, we are going to copy this. We have the services. We we'll reduce the size. We are going to position that here under the services. You have to manage the space. If this will be too thick, I'm still. Uh, having issue with that we can still reduce them so like multi serial boot so we have it like this so now we can now select so we have a makeup we have we put something like demarcation we have a makeup we have fascinator we have fascinator then the So we just put a little. So here we we'll just have this and say and more. You see that text? Then we we'll go here and select uh, multi serra which this one will be regular. So uh, now that we have that, we reduce it to the minimal level. Now give it a color and reduce. Then have a position here. Use the professionalism to align properly. So now this one is done. The next thing that we are going to do is to put uh, the address and the content so how can we put that to make it everything work because of 
the space so the next thing that we want to do now is to put the address and the contact so here we want to put a contact uh, uh, let's say we go to the shape and select this kind of shape so here this is where i want to introduce another uh, color to make it work well so you just crop out a shape like this very small then you go to the color and apply black color then after that you position it here so the next thing you do is to go to the right top and type because we are typing what are we typing there we are typing contact in capital letter in block contact then we are giving it another color which is the white so we are positioned that here then have the size been reduced very good so after reduce reduction you now position it to where make sure everything really align and look like ready made so that the space won't be like borrow space understand make it fit in very good as you can see and then you give it a breathing space it's too much shouldn't be too big shouldn't be too small So now we have this is okay so the next thing we are going to do is to put finishing touch by putting our phone number so we have 0703466081 so now that we have this we have to position this here very good so have it increase a little bit very good so the next thing we are going to do is to put our address addresses so how can we do that we go to our gallery then we have the address being imported address icon then we change the color after changing the color then we position it we crop to a minimal level crop very well because of the space then we have it being shipped to this particular area you can see if shift it just follow the hierarchy you shift it to this particular area very good so now you can shift this up a little bit very good so the next thing we are going to do at that particular area we can it might not work here what we do is this we we we, we make this comfortable then you shift this the services i mean the content of the services just shift it to come down to this area very good so make this one convertible as well as the owner so now we will now go and import yes where we have this understand increase it a bit then have it been put here just let's manage the space around there so now what we are going to do is to copy from here copy then we have it we have uh, sorry we have it been edited so we have j n j j nost that is the address i mean the location it's at j nost so now we change the color as well here so the color should be changed to this so have it positioned very well. The rest, we are done with everything. And as you can see, this is exactly how you can just come up with a, 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 a very beautiful business flyer on your Android smartphone using your PCL. I believe we all learned something from here. You can go ahead by putting a positioning touch into this by edit, but there is nothing much to edit and just to look at the alignment properly whether everything is actually is really aligned then as you can see everything is centrally aligned thanks for watching god bless you have it safe dimension should be ultra why the format should be png format why because of the quality see you next time in the class god bless us all